Well, hello, I made it. <laughs> I'm late, but it's Wise Women's Wednesdays, and sometimes wise women have, are wisely take showers after their workouts because they need to. <laughs> you wouldn't have wanted me otherwise, I promise you. Come on in, everyone, let's get busy. It is Wise Women's Wednesday. We've got lots to talk about, some things to get down to business on, and you know what? I've got a message for you today that you may have heard before, but I just want to put this in context and really help you so that you can apply it because it's a big deal. You know, there is a lot of power in the, in the consistency of being consistent. So who is there? There's my girl, Vanessa. Yay. And Gwen is in the house as well. Good to see you guys. Thanks for showing up. Did you get your notification by the way? Just curious if you got if anyone got notifications you know they've just seemed to be doing I don't know what the deal is with the notifications situation my girl Joanne is in the house and Jennifer Kelly has joined us hi Jennifer good to see everyone see Vanessa says no she didn't get it mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. oh Jeanette I'm so glad you are safe in Nashville and there's Donna, my friend in Alaska, and Donna Sellers is here too, and Sarah. Yay, jo Joanne just got it. Well, I'm glad to hear you got your notification. Um, you know, like I said, it's, uh, it's kind of a tricky thing to, it, sometimes you get a notification and sometimes you don't. All right, so let's get down to business. I'm glad to see everybody coming in. Thank you so much for joining me today. And thank you for letting me know if you got your notification or not. We, you know, we do the best that we can on our end. And certainly if you create it, you expect to get it. Doesn't guarantee that Facebook's going to do their thing. So let's get busy. Um, I'm, oh good, Tammy says hers just dinged. Well, that's good. Well, today is Wise Women's Wednesday. And we're going to talk about the, the, how consistency creates your path. Um, I love this one because it really does make such a difference. It brings you into the place of understanding, like big time understanding. And you know this, you have seen what consistency does. You have experienced what consistency does. There's no difference between consistency in cleaning up your house and keeping it that way for, or you know, taking care of your bod and keeping it that way. That's how it works. So I just want to give a shout out too to uh, Lisa, Cassie, uh, Dawn, Catherine, Kim, Joanne, uh, Gemma, Mimi, Amy. You guys have been sharing like crazy. I've got this big list of everybody who's been sharing. Thank you for sharing because when you guys share, you, not only do you care, but you're sharing this publicly so that means other people in your life can see this in your Facebook feed. And you don't know, you just might be helping save someone who has been stuck on the carousel of crazy. That's our whole gig, man. We get people off of that because we believe that the diet culture is toxic and it's designed to keep you on that carousel of crazy, losing the same weight, never getting to the place of, you know, so-called maintenance. And, uh, you know, I have, I have some big ideas on that. I have some very, uh, let's say strong opinions about that and what that looks like. And I believe that we all have the opportunity to get there, but there's different strategies and tactics and things that we have to learn and unlearn so that we can get into that place of getting off the carousel of crazy for the rest of our lives. Because I mean, who wants to be stuck on that, right? Mm. The sprint is starting on Monday. Hello, who's doing the sprint this time? I'm doing the sprint this time. And this time around on the sprint, we also have a version of the Sprint for those who just do not want to cook. Now, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. You pay for convenience, right? But it's there and it's for you. And if you want it, just go to savingdinner.com. You'll see the little Sprint banner. Just click on that and you get all the information. It's 100% free, you guys. We do free a lot. And the reason we do free and give you lots of information is because we feel like if you are informed, if you understand and are educated about what you're doing, you are going to feel good about it. You're going to make good decisions about it. And you're going to be going forward knowing exactly what's going on within your body. You know, I don't believe in, in blind leadership or blind following ship. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I believe 
that when you're informed, when you're educated, when you understand what the heck is going on, you can participate 100% fully with what your body's doing. Don't you like being like that anyway? It's being an empowered person. Take me away from disempowerment. I want to be empowered all the way. A to Z, soup to nuts. That's just the way it works. This Friday, speaking of being empowered, this Friday we have a blog post coming out and I want you to watch for it and you get our blog post notifications and emails and what have you, but watch for this blog post. We're going to talk a little bit about the coronavirus because everybody is flipping their lids over this thing. And you know, yeah, we need to be cautious, of course, but we also don't need to get caught up with it. Um, like what's going on. And as a matter of fact, one of my big things is I'm looking for travel deals right now. (laughs) I seriously am because there's a lot of them out there. And, uh, you know, I know I get it. I understand. I totally get it. We have to be cautious and people are running out of hand sanitizers. Don't worry. I've got a homemade hand sanitizer recipe for you on Friday's blog. I also have some precautions that you can take and it's all based on science, my friends. And here on the Saving Dinner page, I I shared a blog post by my friend Elisa Song, Eliza Song, who is an MD, she's a pediatrician, and she's broken the whole thing down on the coronavirus and what to be cautious about, what how to do this and the whole bit. So I don't want you to be in the disempowered place of thinking, "Oh my gosh, I'm a victim. I need to go to Costco and empty out all of the, you know, their toilet paper and water and hand sanitizer or pay ridiculous amounts of money for it on Amazon, whatever. That's not where it's at. I want you to do the right thing, know what to do and be wise, be wise, you know, and hand, hand washing is like the big deal. If you sing happy birthday twice while you're washing your hands, you've done a good job. Obviously hot soapy water. Hot soapy water is going to do way more for you than hand sanitizer. And by the way, that hand sanitizer that's out there, most of that stuff, there, there's a carcinogenic ingredient in it called a tri, trichoslan. And, the, you know, they're talking about even outlawing it. It doesn't need to be there. And it also disrupts your microbiome. And if your microbiome is disrupted, your immune system is, is disrupted. Get that? We need to be wise on what it is that we're doing and making your own. It's basically rubbing alcohol with a little aloe vera. I'll tell you exactly how to make it, but you need to be uh, uh, getting Saving Dinner's um, email. So make sure that you sign up for that. What am I drinking? She says (laughs) hot milk mix. Hot milk mix is our electrolyte potion right here with MCT oil. It's stuff is amazing. Um, it has MCT oil and also exogenous ketones. And I'll tell you, after a good workout, makes all the difference in the world. You feel like a million bucks afterwards. It replaces those electrolytes. Puts a little MCT on it. Keeps you in ketosis. And I drink it on a daily basis. And I'll tell you what, if you order Phenomenal Forces, this is what, that's our, our brand, the glycozyme, which is a digestive enzyme and works on your blood sugar issues, helps to lower blood sugar. This is the way it works. This is, this is the jam right there. This is the jam. So uh, it's a, a screaming deal. We've got an introductory deal on this. You can get this, throw it in your cart, and you get ships free if you put that. When you're checking out, if you put ships free into the little code window, you'll see it right there on the checkout page. Everything in your cart will ship free. We do that. And if you order over $250, you will get a mindful mug. Yay. We, I, we sent a bunch of these out last week. So uh, while we have them, you know, it's a, it's a limited offer, guys. So if you want to get a mindful mug, your mindful mug teaches you that it's time to, that you have a cup of, of bone broth just before a meal and that you're going to go into this, this meal mindfully. You're not going to eat big pieces the size of your head and and chew with your mouth open and gag your food down and eat too fast. No, you're going to eat mindfully, polite sized pieces, you know, eat like a lady. It's so much different. Yeah. Glycozyme is just a little bit different. The the biggest difference between glycozyme and our other digestive enzymes is that glycozyme has um, some other things in it. It's got the only thing that is missing from it. Of course, I can't see the label right now. I could have told you that. You can see on the website, it'll tell you. But it basically, it has um, some stuff in it that works really well 
with um, people's blood sugar issues. It's, you know, has some cinnamon and some other stuff in it. But I really, I really do like this. It's a really good product. It's excellent. Lots of, um, again, this is, you know, this is proprietary blend and it, lots of science that goes behind it. And we like, we like stuff with science. So back to the mindful mug. This Friday, I'm also, you keep sharing, you keep caring, and I will, I will give somebody a mindful mug this Friday. I sent one out last week to Catherine. Was it Catherine? No, it was Tammy Pat P Jameson, wasn't it? I can't remember. I'm sorry. It was somebody. But anyway... <laughs> Keep sharing. I love it when you share. I think it's really, it's really cool. You're bringing people into our community. And that's the big thing. Our quote of the week is, you are one decision away from a totally different life. This is a quote from uh, Mark Batterson. And if you think about that, I, and I always say to you, right? I always say to you, get into, into that mindset of understanding just how crucial your decision making is your decision making can change everything when you make a decision when you make a decision and you say this is what I'm going to do I am on it this is I am in it to win it this is the thing it all changes yes I knew it was you Tammy sorry I get you mixed up sometimes with Catherine even though you have a face a real face on yours and Catherine has her little uh, avatar is I don't know what it is but you can tell me, Catherine, I'm sure you're here. Um, q and A's Friday, don't forget. You guys know Q&A, right? If you have a nutrition question or you have a cooking question, send it in to support at savingdinner.com and in the subject line, say, question for Leanne on Friday, and it will get to me, I will answer it. I love answering your questions, and usually you guys ask some really good ones. So today I want to really talk about consistency because, you know, the, the deal with consistency is that it makes itself known when you're inconsistent and it makes itself known when you're consistent. You, it, this is one of those things that gives you, um, that gives you kind of a, 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 a photo, a snapshot of what's really going on in your life. When you're not getting results, then you know that there's some inconsistency going here. This is why I'm always screaming at you, keep a food diary. Because even though you think you're doing okay, if you keep a food diary and a food journal, and you're kind of writing down everything that you're doing, and you're writing down how much water you're drinking, and you're writing down your activity level, you can get a good look when you look back at what's really going on in your life. Because sometimes we are just a little bit, uh, what, what's the word shall I say? We put on rose colored glasses when we take a look at what we're doing. We think we're doing okay until we get to that place of writing out that food journal and saying, you know what? Dang, that, I, mm, nope. <laughs> I blew it last week. It's true. It, it, it's your moment of truth. It is, it is account, an accountability thing that shows you exactly what you're doing. It gives you the broad picture. It gives you all the things. And it doesn't seem like much, but it's, it's a great big deal. And I strongly, highly advise you, everyone should be doing that. Not for the rest of your life, just so that you understand. And you know, I say to people all the time that I don't want anybody weighing and measuring and all of that, but I do want you to have a good idea of how much you're eating. So for example, if you have to, for the first time, measure out your protein, then you, then you measure it out. You weigh it on a little scale or whatever. And then you see, you eyeball it, you see exactly what it is that you have, and then you know. It doesn't have to be exact because remember, our bodies are chemistry labs, not bank accounts. That's a good quote. That's from my friend JJ. And, and I love that quote because it's telling you that there's so many factors in place. It's just not a ma matter of calories in and calories out. And whoever came up with that, I want to smack them. Because if it was just calories in and calories out and how much you worked out and all of that, it's, that's easy math. But it's a whole lot more complex. We are full-on chemistry labs. There's so many things going on. <laughs> Am I right? How crazy is, 
You've got hormones going on and you know, it just depends on where you are hormonally. You have, um, and I'm talking about your sex hormones. I mean, are you still menstruating? Are you not? Are you perimenopausal? Are you not? Are you in the middle of menopause or are you postmenopausal? That all plays into it. You know what else plays into it? How hydrated are you? How much sleep are you getting? What's your thyroid doing? Can you see all of this? How's your digestion? Are you pooping? <laughs> you know, I'll tell you what. You want to be, and I'll show you, a poop queen. If you are not a poop queen, for heaven's sakes, get on the digestive enzyme bandwagon. You need those because if you are not pooping correctly, you're not eating enough, you're not um, digesting your food well, you've got GERD, acid reflux, fill in the blank, that means you're not getting the nutrition that you need out of your meals. Consistency. Consistency is important. But it's not calories in, it's not calories out. Don't ever, ever, ever believe that. You see something like that or somebody starts telling you that, eh, you know, eh, eh, nope, <laughs> you're out of here. They don't, they don't know what they're talking about. Yes, calories do have some bearing on what you're eating. You can't just go in here and eat 5,000 calories a day, but it's not the full picture. It's like what I say to you, get on the scale see what the number is, but also you better get out that measuring tape, sister, because there are so many times where that scale will beat you up, nothing is happening, and yet I've got people, I had one woman tell me that she had lost five pounds over the course of six weeks. She went from a size 14 to a 10 and only lost five pounds. She was bummed about the five pounds. And I said, well, I don't know, but I don't know. You know, you've kind of lost like two sizes. That to me, that's pretty awesome. So get out that measuring tape because sometimes what happens is you burn off the fat and you gain some muscle, which is not a bad thing, and your body composition changes. That's something we should be celebrating. So understand that is probably, the, that, that is exactly how it is. That's the consistency of doing the right thing, even when you're not getting the immediate feedback, right? because sometimes you don't get the immediate feedback. But I will tell you that wise women are still gonna be consistent, even if they don't get the, the microwaved, you know, quick, quick feedback and get what they want right out of it. You have to, you have to, because that allows you to measure what is going on. You can't measure if you're all over the place. You can't measure if you're consistent one day and not consistent the next. Consistency gives us absolute path to creating the life that you want to lead. It gives you the path toward losing the weight, gives you the path to getting off the carousel of crazy, and it gives you the path to success. And that success breeds more success and more success. Because you have to remember that what is measured is improved. That's why we say keep the food journal. That's why I say get on the scale, but don't forget that measuring tape. That's why I say all of these things. And that's why I'm doing like the big Wazula, whatever that thing is, that Staiku or whatever that weird scale is. And, and I have my appointment on March 13th to get on that scale again. They're gonna measure all, all of the different variables and I am excited to see um, how the needles move. I could tell today when I was working out because I left it all out there on the floor. And you know what? Being consistent and working your butt off as hard as you can and and when you're in there and when you're doing it, that's when you get a reward in and of itself because you're stronger than you think you are. You have more than you think you than you have. And when you see, you know what? I gave it everything I had. I worked as hard as I could. I did it even when I didn't want to do those last five or whatever it is, then th that lights you up and you need to carry that with you. I journal that stuff. Man, I just, like, I'll just write it out in my journal. Like, I just crushed it today at the gym. I just left it all on the floor, you know? And I'm proud of myself for that. I'm proud of, I'm like, this, the 61-year-old woman is out there on the floor with all the tweenagers, you know? I'm doing my thing. I got my thing going on. The other thing that consistency does is it creates accountability right then and there. Right then and there. It creates accountability. You can't help but be accountable. Because you have goals, but you also have deliverables, don't you? And the deliverables on those goals is the consistency that you direct on a daily basis to the thing that you want. 
What is it? And it, you know what, what I'm talking about, I might be talking about weight loss or, you know, whatever, but it's anything. Anything in life requires these same things. If you want a clean house, for example, and you know, I, I was thinking about that and actually talking with somebody about it just the other day and they were asking me, well, how did, you know, how did you do it? It was a consistent daily thing. Consistent daily, consistent daily, consistent daily. And yes, I mean, I followed Marla's system to the letter. And as I became an expert on my own house and in my own life using those principles, I changed it up to fit my life. And that's not just, that's not saying I'm, I threw out what she did. I customized it. And it's just like anything else. Everybody needs to customize it and make it work exactly. So, you know, I've, I've seen people where Marla does like the, the big cleanup thingy on Monday. I don't even remember what she calls it, but it's just, you know, time to get in there and get her all done. I had one woman who in there is just saying, oh, but you know, I, I don't, you know, I'm not going to do my sheets today and giving a big explanation on why she's not going to wash her sheets that day. Well, it doesn't matter. It's not necessary. You don't have to wash your sheets on Monday in order to follow Fly Lady, right? And it's the same with me. You you don't, ha- there it is, weekly home blessing. Thank you. Why have, you know, I just sometimes my brain has a little brain fart and there it was. Yeah. So when you're doing your weekly home blessing, you just need to Bless your home. I don't do it all in one fell swoop. I do it bits and pieces. It, that's what works for me. And especially because, you know, once upon a time, I used to have a, a housekeeper that came in and do it. Now I do it myself. And it's just bits and pieces, you know, vacuum and d- dust and do, and do my thing. And everything stays clean. It stays clean all the time. And it, why does it stay clean? Because I'm consistent with it. And anytime anybody could drop into the house. But guess what? That's how it is when you're at the gym. That's how it is when you're choosing your food. That's how it is when you're at work. That's how it is when you're hydrating yourself. That's how it is when you're parenting, when you're in a relationship. It's a consistent thing. When you're consistent, not only are you accountable for the deliverables on a daily basis, but at the end of it, you get to realize your goals. You get to have that vision for yourself. And the way to do be consistent is to plan for it. You plan for your consistency on a daily basis. Wise women are planners. They use their take back your life journals. My gosh, those take back your life journals, are, aren't they killers? They're amazing. You can get one, if they're $15, you can get as many as you need for as long as you want for the rest of your life. If you go to savingdinner.com forward slash journal, you'll see it and explains the whole process. And for those of you who have it and you're not using it, Let's come on. You need to. This is your consistency. This is 15 minutes, you know, less than that in the morning of doing that. Setting up your morning and your evening routine, which we call rituals because we elevate those suckers. We elevate them because they're so critically important. When you perform your ritual, when you perform your routine every day, you've got bookends on either end. And so those books stay upright, don't they? And then the rest of the day fills in well because you've started well and you've ended well and you know you're going to end well. The rest of the day will go well. Consistent. You know, not getting lost on social media or on your phone or whatever. Not getting lost in the weeds, but being focused, being powerful by being consistent. And the other thing I'll say to you, and this is an important thing, is consistency is a part of your reputation. So if you've ever had a husband, for example, who's like, oh my gosh, no, she's on another diet. Why does he say that, you think? Because he's been on that carousel of crazy, hasn't he? He's been on that carousel of crazy. That carousel of crazy is like, you you go all in, you buy all the things, you do the things, and then three days later, oh, you're just like, I don't know. Five days later, forget about it. Seven days later, what do you, I don't even remember what it was called, what? Your husband's been there with you before. You're all gung-ho, bring him with you, and then he doesn't see it. So you you get sullied, you know, your reputation for holding fast and being consistent and and persisting all the way to the finish line maybe uh, isn't so stellar with your spouse. So think about that. Your consistency shows up in your backbone. 
Your consistency shows up in not just talking about it, but actually doing it and doing it day in, day out. When it's hard, when you don't want to do it, and when it's really, really tough. But you know what the thing is? You have the capability. You have every single bit of capacity to do it, even when you don't want to, if you plan for it, if you set up for it, if you journal about it, if it's in front of your face on a daily basis. Wise women know their path because wise women have it all planned out. Now, I'm not talking about every minute of every day. (laughs) I mean, how dumb is that? But what I am talking about is consistently, sometimes slogging through, but sometimes, you know, just saying, you know, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to get out of bed. I don't want to put my workout clothes on. I don't want to fill in the blank, but you do it anyway. Think about how many times you've done that in your life. How many times have you said, oh man, I just don't want to go to work, but you don't go to work. You don't get a paycheck, but you get up and you do it anyway. If you had that kind of tenacity and that persistence and that consistency with the things that you really want, your heart's desire in your life, you're going to get them. It's the same principles. You are applying these same principles. The only difference is, is that with these things, it's easy to put them off because, you know, if you don't do your work at your job or don't show up, you're, you know, like I said, you're going to lose, you're going to lose that job and not have a paycheck. Nothing's on the line, really. But with consistency, if you don't do, if, if you are inconsistent, the only thing that's on the line is you. It's your integrity that's on the line. It's how you feel about yourself that's on the line. It's later on when you're sitting around and you're thinking a month has passed and you've just been so inconsistent, you haven't seen any results. You know, that time is going to march on. It is. Have you, re- have you noticed that? What day is it today? You remember we were just talking about the new year? It's March. It's the end of the first quarter at the end of this month. You know, next month is our bloom event. It's this year is already marching on fast. If you were to take consistent action on the things, the goals, and the visions that you have for your life on a daily basis, what do you see at the end of the year? What is your life going to look like? You're going to see yourself strong. You're going to see yourself consistent. You're going to see yourself doing amazing things. And you know what else? You're going to be thinking, I am so darn proud of myself. Look at me. Look at what I've accomplished. And you're going to be able to check that box. You're going to be able to check that box, sister, and say, I did it. Consistency is that critical. And consistency maintains your integrity. If you're inconsistent and you just keep going here and there and on all of that and just whatever, it's the same Groundhog Day that you've had over and over. So if you can do the different things that I'm talking about right here, right now, if you can do this and be consistent even when you don't want to and even when it's hard, you're going to reap the reward. And that feeds you all in and of itself. I love what Liz has just said. Each accomplishment will motivate you more and more. She's exactly 100% right. Because it is that is the cycle that you want to be on. We get ourselves onto these downward cycles that are just like, ugh. They eat away at us and make us feel horrible. But we can put ourselves on this upward cycle. And it's all about the consistency thing. It's about the consistency. And as I was in the shower today, taking a nice hot shower after that workout and peeling my sweaty clothes off of me. Do you know how proud I was of myself for staying consistent? And I did wake up this morning going, oh, do I really want to do this this morning? I wasn't 100% on board, but you know what I was 100% on board with? Being consistent. I was 100% on board with, you know who my my accountability people are? It's you. I'm not going to let you down. I'm going to show you that this, yes, it can be done. I am going to show you that nutrition fitness 
and and stress reduction in in the way of meditation will change your life. It has changed mine and it's going to consistently keep changing mine. And you know what? This is the way. This is the path to getting rid of the carousel of crazy for the rest of your life and for feeling the very best that you can for the rest of your life. It builds that. And it's what builds the bridge from the gap from where you are today to where you want to get. That's part of the whole foundational principle. If you don't lay out the consistency, you're not going to get to the other side. Consistency is your very best friend. And I want you to do this for me, okay? I want you to write consistency on a sticky note. Put consistency and put it on your notebook. Put it on your food journal. Put it on something. Put it on your bathroom mirror. Put it in your car. But I want you to see this and I want you to think about this teaching right now today. How consistency can incredibly change your life. It did mine. And it can do that to you too. All right? All right, thanks for being with me today and thanks for hanging in there because I was late. Um, You know, hey, it happens. That's how it was. I got home and I mean, believe it or not, I did my hair for you. (laughs) You can't tell, but I did. And don't forget, the sprint starts Monday. Monday. Would you like some consistent, incredible results? Go to the sprint, go savingdinner.com and go pick up the sprint. You're going to find everything there that's going to help you change your life consistently, consistently. I mean it. Love you guys. Peace out. Bye.